This is Nella Zizzer. She ate a 10,000 calorie English breakfast in 42 minutes. 20 eggs, three pounds of meat, and almost a whole pound of butter. I gotta admit it looks delicious, but still. Competitive eating has taken off in the US and around the world, and doing it really comes down to three things. What's happening biologically, what's happening mentally, and how they got like this. So let's start at the beginning. Before eating, the stomach muscles relax in a process called gastric accommodation. It's a way the body anticipates a meal. Saliva builds up in the mouth, and the stomach is bombarded with acid and enzymes that help in the digestion process. This happens with everyone, and competitive eaters are no different. But it's about there that the similarities between Thanksgiving and competition end. When you eat, your body has systems to tell you when it's full. Competitive eaters, sort of like distance runners, have trained themselves to push through these kinds of natural barriers. So the eater shoves the first pie, hot dog, or taco into their mouth. It travels down the esophagus, and it enters the stomach. The stomach recognizes that this is food, and it starts to stretch to accommodate. A regular human stomach starts out about the size of a clenched fist and can expand five-fold, but a competitive eater's stomach can stretch quite a bit more. A study from 2007 published scans of a competitive eater's stomach before, during, and after he ate 36 hot dogs. This is a human. Before shoving these tube steaks into his body, his stomach looks pretty wrinkly, kind of like an uninflated balloon. Then after the bushel of brats, it looks like this. Look at that. This is horrifying. The researchers found the eater's stomach could accept a, quote, almost unlimited amount of food. Blah. It's hard to know exactly how much a competitive eater's stomach could expand because studies are thin on the ground. But here's what we think is happening. Eaters eat a lot. Chronic overeating stretches the stomach, making it easier to consume massive amounts of food during competition. But there's more to it than that. The enteric nervous system is like a mini brain specifically for your gut. It's made up of more than 100 million nerve cells that line the walls of our digestive tract, and it's there to keep food moving and to communicate problems, like perhaps a crammed tummy. Some people's enteric nervous systems may be less sensitive than others, allowing them to chow down on crazy amounts of food, so perhaps competitive eaters have that as an advantage. Scientists have also found links between the brain and the gut. The bacteria living down there share a two-way communication channel with the brain. Stress and depression can suppress gut function, but perhaps there's a way to consciously tap into that to eat more food. More research is needed. Competitive eaters do say the key to speed eating is the ability to zone out and ignore the feeling that they're full. So that's it. Stretch your stomach, overcome the feeling of being full, and just really like hot dogs. But then what? Let's say you ate 70 hot dogs, which is like 15 pounds and over 20,000 calories. Then what? You know what I'm saying? Once eating competitions are over, no one really knows what happens, because competitors aren't exactly gabbing to reporters about their bodily functions. But I bet you it's not great. And if that's not enough, there are absolutely some serious downsides to eating like this. Researchers have called competitive eating potentially self-destructive. It can cause things like water intoxication or obesity, but also the need for a gastrectomy, which means removing part of the stomach, or gastroparesis, which is when a stomach becomes so stretched, it's unable to digest food. In fact, depending on what kinds of foods are being consumed, this behavior can increase the risk of heart attack or kidney damage. But aside from that, eaters also risk something basic, choking during these challenges. While professional contests have medics standing by, the amateur ones often don't. People can die at these things, seriously. So, FYI, I love hot dogs too. But don't try this at home, people. Just don't. I do like hot dogs, though. I'm kinda hungry. Maybe you're a competitive eater, in which case, you should definitely have your own website. Look no further than Domain.com for that. When you buy a domain name from Domain.com, you're taking the first steps in creating an identity and vision for your brand. No domain extension will help you tell your story like a .com or .net domain name, and you can get 20% off Domain.com's already affordable domain names and web hosting when you use the coupon code SEEKER at checkout, and it helps the show. But you know, maybe you shouldn't love hot dogs quite as much as we've been talking about. Do you know what's in them? Find out here. What's the biggest meal you've ever eaten? Let us know in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you so much for watching Seeker. Biggest meal I ever ate was a double Whopper with cheese, two sets of French fries, three Dr. Peppers, and three Hershey Sunday pies.